Today we want to take a look at how to create your own reference model. For instance, in order to map to some company rules or to another process which you don't exactly want to interface but to reference for compliance. Now start with an empty workspace and create an empty process. However, the standard Unicon meta model will not be sufficient to create a reference model. Thus we need to go to management and settings and switch the meta model to the generic meta model of TTO processes, which is for reference models. You can also pick one of the existing other reference models uh, configuration meta models, but it's preferable to use the generic one or to create your own meta model, possibly out of existing meta models for other processes. Now, once that is done, you need to switch to reference model as the process kind and you all set to take a look at the structure. Now, generally the structure of a generic reference model will be chapters with requirements. So for instance, we could have a couple of chapters in here. Let's say we have one chapter with rules and we have another chapter with a glossary. And in the chapter with rules, I will add requirements. So rule number one and rule number two. And we can give a description to rule number one, which is don't be evil. And rule number two will make work smarter, not harder, and so on and so forth. You could certainly call them platinum rules or whatever in order to uh, have everybody know what this is about. So this is sufficient. And um, the one thing we're still missing is obviously creating a scope. And the very least we want is probably some sort of default scope. Now, choosing that scope, I don't want to add all the folders. I simply want to add the requirements in the folders. I'm just going to pick those two. And now these are part of um, part of the scope. So we're all set and our reference model is ready to go. So let's pick any other um, workspace. Let's say uh, product development and software and we'll take the working version of that. And we want to map this or parts of this to our new standard uh, reference model for the company rules. So we'll go to management compliance at reference model. And as soon as I keep typing, I see the new reference model and its default scope and I can pick it. I need to make sure that I'm in the modeler perspective and now I can actually go uh, to any of the rules. I'll maybe take the one who works smarter, not harder. And as a reference product, I'm going to be adding our software project plan, which is a prime example of this rule. And it's already connected, so I can actually give it a, a coverage. Let's say that's, that's pretty good. And obviously, when I go down to that object and go to the compliance, perspective, I will see that now, in addition to anything else, the company rules are actually connected.